I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. Okay, hi everyone, Audrey Bunny here, and today we're going to play Nancy Drew Secrets Can Kill Remastered. Uh, I'm not good at this kind of game, but I'll do my best to keep you guys entertained. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the task list where junior detective can check what to do. This is, I think, the control guides and other stuff. Did that! Okay, let's read the case file. Current assignment, a student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Peach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. Okay, let's start. I'll be choosing Junior Detective since uh, this is my first time playing Nancy Drew games, so yeah. Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week, and an undercover police detective wants me to pose as a student to search for any leads at the school. So it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Okay, so our task is go to the high school and talk to the students about the murder victim, Jake Rogers. Look and see if Aunt o Eloise left me a note. So, we're currently in Aunt, Aunt Eloise's house, so we're going to find that note. library early today but if you need to do any research for your case the key to the library is in the safe remember not to enter in a wrong combination be careful on Eloise okay where's the safe the video
Oh god, that scared me. I need something to make this work. I've watched a lot of the ring to see where this is going. Oh, I found a key. The Haunted Ghost Bridge. Strange things have happened on this bridge. Some people have reported hearing screams and cries from below the span. Others have reported ghost, ghostly figures looming at the end and even others have felt a cold tingling sensation throughout their body when crossing. No one is certain about the origin of these sightings. But the first documented case of spectral phenomenon occurred around the turn of the last century when a troop of Girl Scouts camped out here. All returned with their hair turned white. None of the frightened campers spoke a word until a year later. A year! At first, the girls just babbled incoherently or screamed or laughed. A psychiatrist specializing in traumatic experiences was asked to examine the girls but the girls would only say one phrase, follow the X to the spot below. Okay, I guess the safe isn't in there. Let's look around the house. Oh, there it is. Wait. Oh, brick symbols. Wait. I think I saw... I saw a letter containing the symbols there. Okay, it looks like a 6. And it looks like a 0, a K, and an S with a curly... Okay. 6, 0, K, S.
Got it. <laughs> okay, school computer, login name, Alois Drew, password, or Weiss Elder. Can I take a picture of that? Oh, I can. Check. Did that. Okay, so our next task is to look around the library for clues and go to the high school and talk to the students about the murder victim, Jake Rogers. Okay, let's go outside. I think this is the exit. Nancy Drew? Detective Beach here. How are you? Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads and you're my man, huh? Well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything else, come see me at Maxine's. I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. Okay, I think we're going to go to Maxine's diner first and meet Detective Peach. <laughs> that name's weird, I'm sorry. Okay, there's our guy. But let's try and talk with this guy first. Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. My then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So... What can I do for you? Uh, let's ask about the high school. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. Okay, we already know who was murdered. It was Jake Rogers, so let's ask him what happened. What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Who did it? No one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed up about it. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. Maybe even the FBI. Well, resources? Wow, well, you have resources, huh? Wow, you must have some special contacts. <laughs> Just special enough to see beautiful women like yourself. What? What? What do you mean? Get it? Contacts? I'm wearing contacts that let me see pretty women. Awkward. I should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Take care. That was awkward.
Okay, let's talk to this Uncle guy. Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since... Uh, uh, for a long time. <laughs> How's your... Aunt. Aunt Eloise. Oh, she's fine. And Dad says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, what do you got for me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit... Well, my undercover assignments are usually not so... Suburban. I understand. The victim was a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have had. Nothing came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? I guess none. <laughs> Bye, Uncle Steve. Be careful. Did that. Okay, so the task left, left for us is to go to the high school and talk to the students, okay? Oh wait, but first let me save. Ah, oh, that music sounds so eerie. Connie, you're not from around here, are you? Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. Out of control? One of the students was killed last week. Who found the body? I heard it was Daryl Gray, Paseo del Mar's hot student council president. Daryl Gray? Oh yeah, Daryl's one of the coolest guys at school. Who was killed? Oh, just this wannabe stud named Jake Rogers. What do you mean? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. Okay. I think our guy isn't that really close to some people. for teachers only. But I have a key. I don't care if you have a search warrant. You're not going in. What? That's for teachers only. Oh, my but goodness. I have a key. buy drinks, but not right now. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America, so I chose Hal as my nickname. I'm a Japanese exchange student. Why do you think it's easier to have an American name? I, I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. So, what's been going on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. I heard about that. Some kid named Jake? Oh yeah, Jake Rogers was a dark soul. He created a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? Jake was an Ijimeko. In English, you would say a bully. He wasn't very popular. 
I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Bye. Ooh, find a coin. Okay, I think this is a clue. The Hilda M. L. Swenson Foundation will award a scholarship for 8,000 bucks to the best senior essay. The theme of this year's contest is methods of good citizenship and role modeling. This is only open to seniors. I'm bad at this game. <laughs> oh, there's a password. I don't know that yet. Down up. Wait, will help my flight the first letters. What? Can I take a picture of everything? Wait, I got... I went back. Take a picture of it and then edit it. Wait, let me try. school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. One of the best teams in the state? Hello? Paseo Del Mar High School has been Florida's number one football team for the last four years. I've been trying to get the coach to change that lame mascot ever since I first made the team. Is there anything you're afraid of? Me? When I walk down the halls, it's punks like Jake Rogers who fear me. Are all football players as aggressive as you are? You have to be aggressive if you want to win. That's why I'm the best. Is there anything else I can enlighten you on? So, what's been going on at school lately? 
Somebody killed Jake Rogers. Do you know why he was killed? I'm sorry Jake's dead, but I can't waste my life worrying about it. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. Okay, I guess we talked to all students in this school. Uh, Still have to do that. But, but I checked them. Check. Still have to do that. Okay, so now I have to see what the students have to say about each other. Still check out all the posters in the gym area. Oh, the gym area, okay. Look in the teacher's lounge computer for the maintenance from Braille Lock. Figure out a way to get Connie to leave the student union and research the meaning of the kanji symbol Connie is wearing. Okay. How's it going? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal, he may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times? He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Why not? Hmm, not exactly sure. You said she was having a tough time? I heard she's been having some money problems. Goodbye. See ya. Oh, I think this one. The Crane School of Self-Defense Training that gets results. Beginning, intermediate, and advanced classes. 5 by 5 Judo. Self-confidence, self-discipline, meditation, fitness, strength. Judo for men and women of all ages. Get a jump on education. Okay, I think we need that number. Try that way. J U D O. We are currently not seeking any new initiates at this time. We will seek you if you are worthy. That sounds so grumpy. Fine. But now we know it's working. clues in here how's it going no not i'll yet. talk to you later see ya Oh wait, I think it's locked. 
uh, let's go to the library later. We'll still have to talk to Hal and Connie about their opinion of... Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular and a good politician too. Just like his father. Like his father? I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. See ya. Goodbye, Nancy. Hey, Nancy, need something? How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X8. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. Hulk- What a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. I guess that comes with a territory of being school monitor. Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks... I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Okay, I think... Wait... Uh, Did that! I can check that out. Did that! This one... And... Now all we have to do is to ask Hulk about his injury and see if there are any clues in Jake's locker. How's it going? I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain, no big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. I gotta go. Later. Did that. How's it going? I gotta go. Later. Okay, let's talk to Hal again. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? 
Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. How's it going? Goodbye. No. Bye, Nancy. How can I unlock the locker? Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Hulk said your locker's right next to Jake's. Are you sure you don't know the combination? Hey. Hmm. I remember one day Jake was mad because he couldn't open his locker. He told me he wished I had a phone handy. Will that help? See you later. See you later, Nancy. Phone handy, huh? remember this kind of phone before. I had one. Uh, Jake? 5253. Can I try calling it? Oh my gosh, it's ringing. Whoa, that was creepy. Okay, let's remember. 5253. 5253. Pharmacy. Maseo County Police responded to a break in at the drug station pharmacy on 80th Street in the early morning hours yesterday. Whoever it was knew exactly what they were looking for, said Police Chief Tach Tig. Broke in the building through the back window, took the drugs, and were out through minutes. According to the report, several vials of hectanol were taken. We were just lucky that no other damage was done to the store, said owner Stephen Oitenta. The alarm oh, there's a coin. <laughs> the alarm report came into police headquarters at 2 a.m. on Thursday morning. Police responded and were on the scene within 20 minutes. A broken window was spotted immediately, but the thief had already left the scene. Anyone with information concerning this crime should contact Paseo County Police Department Headquarters. Okay, so I think uh, we can check out the locker. Check! Task. Let's try and go in the library first.
my goodness. Jake was here. Things to remember. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order, the letter and digit tell the direction. Jake Rogers. Oh my god, the music is so scary. Pectinol is a steroid and was one of the drugs stolen at the drug station. How can I freaking use the computer where I have to log in? The username and the password that I found. 